Yeah, and this Friday, here's one of those events. T.W. Andrews High School Band, uh, the Red Radio of Sound, will host their Red Smooth Classic Battle of the Bands. And for one night only, you can hear several talented local high school bands. Very exciting. And here to share just a little bit more with us this morning is Daryl Lewis. He is the band director there at T.W. Andrews. Thank you so much for being there with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So we have to talk about Battle of the Bands. It's one of those things that really brings the community together mm -hmm. to engage with. I mean, you might be older, been in the band when you were younger and you go out to see it, or maybe you've got young kids. So you have to sort of explain to us what motivated you to bring this particular event right back here to the triad. Um, this event has always been a big event in uh, the triad. Uh, it was started back in 2016. Uh, we had to shut it down uh, for a couple of years due to COVID and uh, just some restrictions. Uh, but this year we were able to get back together. Uh, we had a great committee. We planned it and um, we're, we're looking to just have a great time on Friday night. Yeah, it really sounds like a lot of fun. If you would talk about some of the sights and sounds on Friday night, what are people going to be able to see? Well, you're going to have a host of things. Uh, you, you, obviously, you're going to see the red radio of sound that <laughs> I believe is the best high school marching band in the state of North Carolina. Um, we also have um, Dudley High School from Greensboro. We have Northeast High School, and we actually have Lexington High School, who always who will also be there performing. Uh, we have two special guests. We'll be having the North Carolina Central um, Drumline that will be there performing, oh, cool. and we will have North Carolina A and T State University's Drumline performing as a special guest as well. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, that's definitely going to be amazing. They are legendary and known for their drum line, mm -hmm. we have to say. So you have to tell yeah. us just a little bit more, Daryl. We know that you've been prepping for this event, and as a band director, you know what it's like to get all these kids right into shape so they can be ready for the big performance on Friday. Can you sort of talk about what this experience has been like for all of you? Uh, it's been, it's, it's actually been a, a, a fulfilling experience to see where we have started uh, in the beginning of the year to see where we have progressed to now. Uh, just getting the kids all on one accord. We have kids of all different um, levels of music. We have kids that have been playing since they were in fifth and sixth grade. And we have kids who never touched an instrument until they stepped foot in the band room. So in the, the joy of seeing everyone come together and we're all playing and moving on one accord is uh, just fulfilling for us. I'm sure as a band director, that's very challenging for you is try to bring everybody on one page when they have different <laughs> levels of talent to playing different instruments. You know, you got to move things around a little bit. This is uh, very different from your standard concert performance. What do you hope the experience is like for the students? Uh, this is much more uh, entertainment based. Yeah. Uh, it's it there. There there is no judged. You know, you're, you're not getting critiqued for every little thing you do this is one of those things where you you do to to let loose to have fun in the spirit of competition you know you get to perform in front of your peers your family uh the whole community uh so it's just one of those things that you just like to have towards the end of the year uh you know kind of as a reward to your students for all their hard work Absolutely. And Daryl, mm -hmm. do you hope that maybe seeing those college bands come and be a part of it as mm -hmm. well might inspire the students to take their talents to the next level as oh, well? Yeah. Yes, that is that is one of the big reasons why we have them there. I think um, over the last if last time I counted, I think over the last five years, we've put about 17 students from our program uh, into college on band scholarships. Um, we actually not only just have those two colleges representatives, but we, we also have about five or six more colleges that will be on hand during our recruiting fair. So we're going to have colleges there passing out information about admissions, how to get in, where to start. Um, so we just want to get that information out to people. 17 students on band scholarships. Mr. Lewis, that is that is truly impressive. So give yourself a pat on the back for that. Absolutely. Congratulations Thank to you. those students as well. I mean, it's one of those things that you have a love for music and yeah. to take it along with you mm -hmm. for a lifetime and help you pay for college. Can't be mad at that at all. No. All right. Well, if you'd That's like it. to join the rest of them out there, the Red Smooth Classic is this Friday at T.W. Andrews High School there in High Point. Of course, we will have the link to purchase those, those tickets. It's right now posted on the Triad CW. Dot com. It'll be